Hi hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding products with three or more orders in two consecutive years. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called orders with four different columns: order ID, product ID, quantity, and purchase date. Order ID contains unique values. Each row in this table contains the ID of an order, the ID of the product purchased, the quantity and the purchase date. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to report the IDs of all the products that were ordered three or more times in two consecutive years. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, so let's go through this example. So here we have several orders, different product IDs, the quantity they were ordered in and the purchase date. There are two products, product ID 1 and 2. So if you look at years, so we have 2020, 2021 and 2022. So for product ID 1, you have in 2020, three orders and 2021, three orders. So for product ID 1, in two consecutive years, that is 2020 and 2021, three or more, so three orders have been made. So product ID 1 should be in the output. And if you look at product ID 2, there is only one order. Obviously, two will not be in the output. So that is what we have in our output. So to solve this question, what we basically need to do is the first thing that we should do is for every product ID and every year, let us count how many various orders have been made. So what we can do is from this table called orders, let us group by the product ID and the year part, right? So you do not need to group by the purchase date. You only need to extract the year from the purchase date and let us return these columns, right? So let me just copy this and paste it here. So return me both of these columns and count me the distinct orders. But as you know that order id is the primary key because order id contains unique values so you can simply go ahead and do count of order id column and that is going to give you the number of times that product was ordered in a particular year so let's write this as number order okay now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output let me just drag it above so we have the product id year of the purchase date and the number number of times they were ordered okay now the question says products with three or more orders right so we only need to keep those rows where the number of times a product was ordered in a particular year is three or more so the number of ordered column we have created is a aggregate value right so count of the order id so to filter based on an aggregate value remember the basics we need to use having not where so having count of the order id should be greater than equal to three let us run this okay now we are left with only two rows for product id one in year 2020 and 2021 number of times they were ordered three three each okay this code will give us for every product id and every product year all the products and the years they were at least ordered three or more times now the second thing that you need to find from this question is consecutive years right so we have solved a number of questions the question before this that i uploaded yesterday was an advanced version of the consecutive logic that we have developed so we have found consecutive seeds consecutive numbers etc etc so we need to apply the same logic to basically say that this column contains consecutive years how can you do that apply the same logic so if it is consecutive you arrange the year in ascending order and rank them so obviously if rank is increasing by one as well as the year is increasing by one the difference between the two will remain the same and therefore you can know that yes they were consecutive indeed so what we can do is let us rank for every product id arranged by the year of purchase date in ascending order let's rank it so let's use the row number to rank so row number and then since this is a window function you need to write over clause then you need to partition by product id why are we doing a partition by product id because for different products here you only have product id one right but for different products you can have different years where they start purchasing right so we need to generalize our code so partition by the product id order by the year of purchase date 
right so order by year of purchase date in ascending order and then let's alias this as rank so let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we get in our output so now if you look at it you have the rank let me just drag it to the left go for product id one this was the first year where it was ordered three or more times and this was the second year it was ordered three or more times okay now once you have this if it is consecutive the difference between these two is going to be the same so you calculated the rank and you need to subtract these two so either you can save this entire thing in a common table expression or what you can do is you can go ahead and do the same thing here as well. So what I'm doing is you calculated the rank and then you subtract year and rank column. So here you just simply go ahead and write year minus the row number part. If I go ahead and let's alias this as instead of rank difference. Now if I go ahead and run this it is going to give us that hey yes it was rank 1 rank 2 2020 minus 1 is 2019 2021 minus 2 is 2019 so now obviously if you look at it the difference is same because these years are consecutive now what you can do is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with city as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are basically doing is from this common table expression if we group by the product id and the difference and keep only those rows where the count is coming out to be greater than or equal to 2 what does that mean so product id 1 difference is basically showing whether they are consecutive or not so if you group by the product id and the difference and it is greater than or equal to 2 that means at least two consecutive years are present right and you already made sure that the number of times they were ordered is three or more right so you you already made sure so that is what we are doing is group by the product id and the difference part keep only those having the count star is greater than equal to 2 and in those cases return me the product id okay if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output however there is still a flaw in our code there is one keyword that we are missing think about it so let me tell you what the problem is so for example let me just drag it to the right here i'm going to show you so for product id 1 we had for 2020 we had three orders and again product id 1 for 2021 we had three orders so we ranked based on say 2020 year right so this was ranked 1 this was ranked 2 right now let's suppose for this product id 1 also in 2024 and 2025 they were ordered more than three times so let's call this they were ordered four times here and then in 2025 it was ordered let's say for five times now if you are ranking based on the year so this is going to be assigned rank three and this is going to be assigned rank four so if you do the difference what is this 2020 minus 1 is 2019 2019 and then if let me just write it down so 2019 and then the 2019 is the difference now here what you do have the difference as 2021 and then 2021 now if you do this right so this is your common table expression let's say you got all this now if you group by the product id and the difference so product id and the difference so for 1 and 2019 you are going to have count greater than equal to 2 so you are going to return the product id 1 now for 1 and 2021 also your count is equal to 2 so that means it is going to be satisfied so you are again going to return 1 as well right so you see you are going to return duplicate ones obviously that is not what you want so even if we are grouping by a product id but since we are grouping by two columns and difference can be different based on the subtraction so that is why do not assume that it is going to be the unique value because we have grouped by the product id right so that is what you need to do so we need to write distinct here let me just you know run this without distinct and it you will see 
that it will fail a test condition. So you see it says wrong answer and if you look at this so here you have multiple outputs. So that is why if I go ahead and write distinct here let me go ahead and submit it now. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it right. So what we basically had to do was firstly we found out for every product ID and the year of purchase how many times it was ordered and then what we did was we calculated the row number basically ranked and subtracted the difference between the year of purchase and the rank so that we can get a difference which is going to be used to see whether the year of purchases were consecutive or not and there only we made sure that the number of times the order are made is greater than or equal to three once we had all that we kept only those where the second condition that is in two consecutive years the product was ordered three or more times is satisfied so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video